Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we are going to talk about Amazon AWS. I will try to clear up all of your doubts about what this Amazon AWS is and rather specifically, we are going to talk about what AWS Amplify is, why you should be bothered about it, what problem it's trying to resolve and why you should actually know more about it. I will also talk about some of its pros and cons and is it a right fit for beginners or not? Why is it so much that Amazon is being loved by all of the industry, entire IT world actually loves it? Amazon has one of the big clients known as Netflix and why Netflix is using AWS as its service. We're going to talk a lot about it and keeping our focus on Amazon AWS Amplify. Let's get started. Okay, so before we understand what AWS Amplify is, we need to understand what kind of problem it's trying to resolve. Understanding what a product is trying to solve a problem. And once we understand that problem, understanding the product becomes much more easier. I was very excited about AWS Amplify from the day one of its launch. And when Amazon AWS reached to me and said, hey Hitesh, we love your content and we would like to sponsor your channel. I said, wow, that's amazing. I would love to be a part of AWS. And if you want to sponsor our channel, I would love to do it. So this reminds me, thank you so much Amazon AWS for sponsoring this channel. And now let's go ahead and move on to AWS Amplify, what this is. To understand AWS Amplify, we need to understand a situation. Let's just say you download an app, maybe LearnCode Online, maybe Instagram, or maybe any other app. You download that app and you said, hey, that app is amazing and I want to just log in into the app. You log in into the app and then you realize uh, this content is actually pretty amazing. I would love to watch it on my desktop. Then you go to the desktop and the application says, you know what? Since you have logged in in our app, you need to re-log in and create a new account on our website because it's a different thing. You would hate it, absolutely hate it. In the world of IT, we would love to have seamless experience. Seamless between your Android app, your iOS app, and your web is. Now, although it looks like that that's a simple process, but it is not as simple as you think. Companies struggle a lot in unifying their experience so that whatever the user is watching on a mobile device and when he moves on to a website, it just gives a seamless experience and that is not an easy task, but can be made easier if we have better services. Now, there are a variety of services which can make this backend experience extremely seamless. Now, when a new beginner comes out in the market and says, I want to design a product and he just install a MySQL on his machine and try to make an app from it and a website from it, he's super happy because everything is working seamlessly. But remember, that app that you're trying to learn is going to just be on your computer or probably a few devices. When that app or that product moves to thousands and thousands of users' mobile phone and thousands of people are using it on desktop, things change drastically. We have to take care of variety of issues, especially the scaling up issues. The server should not go down and it's not just about the database. Probably you are using MySQL for your core functionality. Probably for analytics, you are using MongoDB. And on top of that, you are having mail server as well. So all these needs to be connected and this needs to be a seamless process so that developers can freely work on the features that they want to. And you might have also heard that in the industry, Amazon services are being used quite a lot. Amazon AWS is one of the top notch industry standard because in the AWS, it's just really super easy to create a machine or a computer which is hosting your MySQL, another machine which is hosting your MongoDB, another server which is having mail server, and all of them can be easily connected. But when I say easily, it's not that much easy for a beginner to just log in into Amazon AWS services and just create these machines and configure them for Android app, iOS app, maybe React Native app, and for the web as well. Now surely, once you have experience of developing apps on a one platform, uh, then surely migrating to AWS is not such a big deal. It's an easy process. But as a beginner, you usually don't get a flavor of how things actually work on AWS. Now Amazon also realized that, that a lot of beginners are not able to use our services that efficiently. Not just the beginners, a variety of companies also want to try out our services that how the process can be seamless. And this brings us to one of its competitor, which is Firebase. Now in the Firebase, you just log in into the application, just create a new instance, and everything is just given to you. A lot of libraries, frameworks, and downloadable material is given to you. You just place them in your project, 
and rest of the configuration is automatically done for you. You are not worried about how I'm gonna just create a server, how things are gonna process. You just focus on things like how the authentication is gonna work, how I'm gonna implement the login with Google or Facebook, or how I'm gonna implement the query process which sends some data on the servers and retrieves some data back. This makes a learning experience really seamless. Now handling similar situation, Amazon came out with an amazing product known as AWS Amplify. Now Amplify is a seamless process or a simple tool that is given to you which makes the entire process absolutely seamless. With the AWS Amplify, you get a command line tools and through that command line tools, you can just work on any application that you like. Maybe you want to craft an Android application, iOS, maybe a web application using React or React Native, whatever is the case. You just run some of the commands on the command line tools and that's it. All the things are just automated after that. You just need to read a few documentation, just like we used to do in the Firebase, and then you can simply craft an application with all the features that you love, authentication, hosting some data, maybe firing up some query with the database, that all can be done just with the command line. Now, Amazon AWS is internet's backbone, and it's not wrong to say that majority of the application that you see, sometimes they openly disclose that, sometimes they don't, but still, most of them, and majority of them, are already using AWS. Especially one of the client which is quite highlighted uh, all time in the media is Netflix. Majority, in fact, all of the Netflix content that you watch is actually hosted on AWS. And in fact, not only that, we personally use AWS quite heavily in our applications. And a majority of the learning apps, the entertaining apps that you are seeing, of course, apart from YouTube, is actually using AWS in some way or the other. And remember, I said majority. So as a beginner, once I'm comfortable with dealing up with a few applications that handles like cameras, some internal databases, maybe a few applications with Firebase, it's gonna be an amazing experience if somehow I can get my hands on work with AWS system as well. Now surely it's gonna be a little bit different from the core AWS work that we do. Amplify is a bit different from that, but surely anything related to AWS is gonna be a plus one in your resume when you just work on it. Now, I personally see that AWS Amplify has a lot of potential, but it's a growing product. The product has just been introduced, uh, but surely in the future, it has a lot of potential to grow up. Its documentation from the day one is one of the most amazing documentation that you're gonna see online. Very beginner friendly, but there is a big but here. The Amazon AWS has some of its limitation, which is still keeping a lot of instructors like me from teaching AWS online. And one of the one of the hurdle, which is the biggest one, is the requirement of credit card. Now, surely you're gonna see in the future a variety of posts that are gonna compare AWS Amplify with the Firebase or similar other products as well. But one of the things which I personally believe is gonna be a big drawback is the requirement of the credit card. The reason why a lot of beginners use Firebase is simply because you can just enter your Gmail account and just create a Firebase instance there. But in the case of AWS Amplify, you need a credit card. They don't charge you anything for that. In fact, their one year free tier plan is really, really amazing and it's not really very expensive. But you need to understand that not a lot of majority of students are holding credit cards and especially with the place where I live, the beautiful India, the credit card is not in the reach of majority. We have an entirely different payment system here in this subcontinent, and credit card is not really common here. We use a variety of other ways. If instead of using that credit card, they ask you to purchase like $50 credit for a year, that would be a better thing, and, major and more over implementation of other payment gateways would have been a great thing. Amazon is already handling amazing payments through their shopping website, but comparing the shopping website with AWS would be not a justification. But regardless of that, this strong criteria of having a credit card in your account to be enabled there and verified is gonna stop a lot of students in understanding this amazing product, AWS Amplify. And I personally believe if they open up just a free tier, probably just for three months or six months, that doesn't require a credit card, is gonna introduce a lot of people with the AWS. And surely a lot of amazing product can be released out once people understand that how powerful and how cheap it is to work with AWS. 
Now, if you agree with my point that AWS is really powerful and is almost the backbone of the internet, do post down in the comment section simply saying AWS is really backbone of internet right now. Post down in the comment section, do you agree with me or not? I would love to read your comments. Now, one of the things which I absolutely love about AWS Amplify is its seamless process. You are simply given a command line tool which you can install and once that is being installed you can just use that same instance of amplify into your web app into your android app and into your ios app even react native is being supported and of course in the future i believe that flutter and all amazing things are also going to be supported now this seamless process of having a single integration and that can be multiplied and throw that almost like a serverless architecture is always appreciable but it also comes with some of the drawbacks as well because you are limited with that and having more instance but not with the case of aws since the entire thing is just in the amazon ecosystem having multiple services and integrating them with the aws is also not very tough so on to a whole summary i would say that yes amazon aws can be a strong competitor with the firebase in the upcoming days but keeping in mind that what kind of restriction it's putting up for the beginners to use it. Again, it can be an amazing product, but this credit card restriction can be a bit stronger for the beginners. For the people who are absolutely concerned about their application and are not worried about putting up their credit card, I think it's gonna be an amazing product for all of them. Now let me know in the comment section if you love to see some of the implementation of AWS with Android or React Native or iOS, I would love to make them a step-by-step -step tutorial of implementing AWS probably on Android app or React Native. Just let me know in the comment section what you like to see and I would definitely make those videos. But again, depends on what is the demand for that. If you would love to see that, just hit the comment section and I would love to make them. Oh, and by the way, I'll leave down a few links in the description that I highly, highly recommend you to read out. These links are about Amazon AWS Amplify introduction, some of its FAQs and related links. If you are staying in the industry in the IT world, just knowing the basics of loop in the Python or JavaScript is not enough, you should also be uh, quite familiar with what's coming up in the latest in the market of the IT world. And if you're interested in those such kind of stuff, along with the programming tutorials, just hit that subscribe button because I come up all the time with such amazing content. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button and let's catch up in the next one.